suppose that you urgently require some summary total or summary average and that to group by with a certain category you can do it effortlessly with pivot tables let's see that for the purpose of explaining the pivot tables and pivot charts let us consider the data set from this particular link of Kaggle avocado prices I will be putting this link into the description section of this video hence considering this data set now we can observe one thing that this data set contains some categorical columns like type year and geographical region and many other variables are numerical and also see that date is one more variable so for generating the summary total or summary whatever arithmetic means we can have uh, option of inserting the pivot table here so in the insert ribbon click on pivot table and I'll you will see that by default the entire data has been selected for this particular table range so let's not do anything else over here except the defaults and click on ok button which will create a new sheet into your file itself now with this sheet you will find that here is the region where a table will be formed and here is the region where the selections are to be made so at the right pivot table fields the selections are to be made let us consider that we want we want total volume per geographical region okay so i will be selecting the geography and i will be dragging in the rows well if you drag in the rows it will be by rows if we drag by columns it will be by columns okay so i let it remain in the rows then i select that total volume drag it into the values and you will find the sum of total volumes calculated here per geographical region if instead of sum of the total volume if you want average total volume for every region you are free to do it in this way click on this particular this particular button here or field over here click on value field settings and click on average which will give you average of total volume instead of giving sum of total volume also if you want to add one more category to your data that is type so you can do it with columns so for column you will find you see for type there are two types in our data set the conventional and organic for every type you see the different values calculated for changing the layout of the table you can opt for cancelling the selection of the fields and have totally a different table say for example that you want to display your total volume as a time series so date in that case will be in rows and total volume in in values which will which will create a time series well by default time series has been created per quarter per quarter per year as you will see you can opt for directly generating the pivot chart for the time series if you think that line is to be generated or if you think column is to be generated you can do the selection and click on ok button 
which will generate the pivot chart very easily. Now say suppose that you want to have this particular chart of sum of total volumes displayed for every different geographical region. So basically this is for the whole data set but there are different geographical regions as in our data set which you can see here. These are the different geographical regions. For every different geographical region selected, you want the chart to be created, also the table to be created. How can you do that? You can select geography and, and drop it over here in filters. In filters, well, you will find that you can select any geographical region, say Baltimore, and click on OK and you will get the report of that particular region california or anything else like that if you want to make multiple selections you are you are free to make multiple selections and hence for those two geographical regions combined together the chart will be chart and also table will be created thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and for latest updates from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.